to win games, you have to score goals. <laughs> Defense is important too, though. I think for me, I practice my shot about twice a week during the season, improving my technique, trying to hit different parts of the net. All these are important aspects of shooting and parts of my game that just make it better. Hey guys, my name is Afoma Anamano and I'm here in Houston with Adidas. Today I'm going to walk you through the technique of how to shoot a ball, as well as a few drills to try in order to improve your shot. Let's go. So when you're first looking to take a shot with the ball, the first thing you want to focus on is your approach to the ball. You want to make sure that your planting foot isn't so close where you don't get any power, but not so far where you're having the same issue. On contact, you want to make sure you're locking your ankle and hitting the ball with the hardest part of your foot. If you're dribbling up to shoot, it adds a little aspect to the game of unbalanced. So the most important thing in terms of dribbling is where you plant your foot once you have committed to taking the shot. Once you push the ball out and you make your approach, you want to make sure you're planting your foot where you want the ball to go inside the goal. A good drill to try in order to improve your shot is a speed finishing drill. You're going to line up balls, as many as you have. I have 10. You're going to put a cone to where you're starting. And every time you take a shot, you want to run back and take another shot. Even amounts on your right, and then even amounts on your left. This drill is really good to replicate a game-like scenario when you don't have a lot of time to think about your shot. And then as you improve, you can line up the balls a little further from the goal to make it more challenging. Another drill I like to do in order to improve my shot is an accuracy drill. So for this drill, you only need two cones set up about two steps away from the post. I start with the balls on the top of the 18. You can bring them in as far as you need in order to make sure that your technique doesn't break down. I am aiming to hit the four corners of the goal because that's the hardest place it is for a goalkeeper to save the shot. And in this drill, I think the most important thing is your technique. You want to focus on your technique and you want to focus on obviously your accuracy. Another drill I like to do is shooting on the dribble. Shooting on the dribble requires you to sort of get your balance quickly when you're taking a shot, especially in a game when you don't have a lot of time and the defender is closing down. You need two cones set up about 10 feet apart. The second cone closest to the goal can be as close to the goal as you need. You're going to start at the first cone, dribble up to the second, take a fake, whether it be a body feint, Croif, step over, push the ball out, plant, and shoot. The most important thing is just getting the shot off. Oftentimes, I think we overthink our technique. The more you do the drill, the better you get at it. Apart from the physical side of shooting, I think the biggest part is the mental piece. Earlier in my development with shooting, I thought you had to have more power but I realized placement is probably the most important part and I think that goes into the mental side. Technique breaks down when you try to do too much at too fast. Starting closer to the goal and really taking the power piece away and just focusing on placement, I say is the most important piece of becoming a better finisher. I don't want to do anything where I'm going to be just doing it halfway. You know what I mean? If I'm going to do it, I have to do it all the way. And I know I have so much to give, so much to grow still, so much to learn. I'm just looking forward to what's next. <laughs>